Hi, I'm Luciano and this is the Adventures of Lollipop Man. Today, we're gonna review a rig, the Red Nelt. Ping! Let's get right in. So here we got the Red Nelt. Uh, it's a character created by Daniel Martinez Lara and updated to Blender 2.8. Two by Wayne Dixon. I picked up this character because he has been greatly announced in the couple of last couple of days, and I'm really happy that more rigs are starting to appear for Blender that are appealing. That's one of the many reasons it's so hard sometimes to even even consider jumping into Blender for animators because it's super hard to find a decent rig, and also um, the way. Rigs in Blender have been treated, uh, they're slightly different from what they've treated, been treated in Maya, which discourages people sometimes right off the bat. Blender is already a different software. Uh, you used to have uh, right-click select, and then now then you had rigs that wouldn't work the same way, so people got discouraged really easy. Luckily, I wasn't discouraged by that, uh, but I'm not a great animator, so who cares? As you can see, as a test, I decided to do a quick animation. So I spent one hour and 10 minutes doing this animation. And you're going to see right now I'm having one of the biggest struggle with this rig, which was the feet are not aligned like to the world. Their controllers are aligned like this. The problem that brings is that to move the foot forward, instead of just using the Y axis, you get um, a combination between the Y and X axis. And so for blocking, it's not such a big deal. The problem comes when you start splining. You start splining, then you have two curves that are competing with each other. And this can be easily solved in animation if you constrain the foot to an empty that's looking in the correct axe, but then it requires some extra steps and it makes it more complex than it should be. Um, so that's one of the things I, I, I didn't appreciate about the rig. Besides that, the, the general rig looks good, it's easy to work, it's fast, mostly if you turn on the simplify. Like at the beginning I was getting like 20, 22 frames per second once you click that simplify button that uh, gets you to uh, zero subdivisions, then you get uh, 24 frames per second, so you don't need to play blast all the time. As you're going to see during this hour, obviously I didn't finish the, the entire animation, but I worked at blocking. And because the character, you can separate the pieces, I decided to make him fall into pieces. And I could detect some other issues. With the IKFK and the space switching that it has, it's a little bit limited. Space switch is when you put, can put an arm to be part of the body or part of the hips or part of the entire rig or part of something else or, or not part of anything at all. And the issue is that at this moment, you need to switch, like go slider from zero to one or whatever it is and then go grab the part because when I switch to, for instance, uh, world space, then the hand goes all, all, all the way over there where it was originally created. And then you have to grab it and put it back in its place. And it's not a big deal, but it takes a lot of time to do this several times. And it takes a lot of time just to fix something that would be just super quick if the arm stayed there. You could take easily 10, 20 minutes of your head just going over to try to do that. And, um, and that also limits you. Limits you in the way that you're going to think about it twice if you don't have this part of the rig. And you don't want to do that, right? Um, and so that happens with the FKIK. That happens with the space switch of the of the legs, of the arms, of the spaces of when you when you pull them apart. And also happens with the uh, pull vectors. Besides that, the rig is super cool. It's super fun to work with. Um, it's it's generally the body is appealing. The hands look pretty. Um, I have a I have to say the, the the thumb controller is attached completely to the to the hand, and you cannot force it. I would like it to have locations unlocked so you can just move it around a little bit more because that way you can shape the hand a little bit more but it's not a big deal it's not a big deal yeah it's a cool rig after testing the rig for about an hour we can pretty much see if it will fit our purposes show me the animations you do with this rig in the comments below remember to subscribe and like this video see you next time